I'm Xanderwood. I make indie games and tutorials on game development. I also play your indie games every week on my channel. Make sure you subscribe and click that bell icon so you never miss a video. I hosted a game jam, and you guys took part. Thanks. The theme for Xander Jam 3, Spring Jam, was Evolution. And out of 108 participants, 37 of you managed to submit a game. Great work! If you didn't manage to get your game submitted, there's always next time. Or you could submit what you have to I Play Your Indie Game series, link in the description. I'll be showcasing the top 10 games as ranked by you in this video. I will also be revealing my personal favourite entry from the jam too. Oh, and as an added bonus, which will become a feature in all future Xander Jams, I have invited a guest judge to pick their favourite as well. Before all of that though, let's reveal some honourable mentions. These games didn't feature in the top 10, but I feel they deserve a mention nonetheless. Don't worry if your game doesn't get a feature in this video. I have played through every entry as promised, and that video will be released later this week. Honourable mentions. Multivac Inc. by Moniorant is a puzzle game where you use cards to change the movement of the objects on screen. If you get it right, the pieces, or pawns as they're referred to, can merge together and mutate. Although I was truly awful at this game, I think it was an interesting take on the theme. Keep evolution going forward. We will be ready for beginning the new world. You can now interact with your simulation to influence evolution. Here's your second simulation. Soup by Judge Clark, ranked 14th overall, but I really enjoyed this game. I feel that a lot of people would have come up with the same idea as this, where your character literally evolves from a cell into a creature. But this game kept me playing longer than some others, as I was so intrigued to find out what would happen if I evolved into a land creature. How many of these green things do I need to collect? Protein, 16%. Oh, get out, man, these stupid red things. Personal Finance Evolution by Anticlux is a wonderfully addictive clicker game where you evolve your finances over time by working, 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 then investing, and eventually starting your own business. It was super satisfying watching my money grow with every click. There we go, now we're gonna spam this invest button at four bucks. See, I'm already up there like 300 bucks and I just literally stopped it for a second. But every time I click work, it's going up by hundreds and hundreds of dollars. Gee, look at that go! Devour Earth by Icy Games is a hilarious take on the theme. You control a potato alien that just wants to eat everything in sight. The more you eat, the more you evolve. You can pick upgrades each time, some of which are utterly hilarious. Teeth consume animals, eyeball, see, can see creatures on minimap. There's a rat. Come here, rat. Stop running away. I'm gonna consume you. Got it. Okay, stealth, disguise. Creatures no longer run away. That's what I need. <laughs> Look at that disguise. <laughs> His little hat. Zip Adventure by Squam Games is a wonderfully hand drawn story of a zip. Yes, a zip. Its charm lies within its minimalistic nature, and the hand drawn artwork and animations give it a real sense of love and warmth. I have to unzip him. I can unzip him. There's something else. What's this guy? Okay, unzip the mouth. Now I have a watering can or a hammer. <laughs> Choices. Do I water the... Is it an egg? Or do I crack it with a hammer and see what's inside? Totem Drawn by Selwyn takes the theme in a whole different direction. Instead of evolving, your goal is to stop the totem from changing by collecting coins to appease it. There is also a hidden secret in the game, I understand, but I couldn't find it. If you could, let me know in the comments. Collect some more. Bring them back to the totem. Make the totem happy. Okay, I've got 61 seconds left to keep this thing happy. Aha, more. oh, look at all these coins. Oh, yes, let's get these coins. Revolution by The Hooded Olive is a wonderful play on words. Your goal is to start a revolution by collecting people as you march through the level. The king has a bad gene, which makes him really fat. This is bad because he doesn't do anything to rule the village. Well, that's because he's probably tired all the time. I'm creating a clan. Come and be my followers. You, come and follow me. I said follow me. You, young sir. This way, please. The top 10. Evolution Racer, featuring Chester McChestface by Minijaw, was a fun parody of my game, 
for the Rejuvenation Jam by Helper Wesley. Minijaw has made the game using only assets from my free chest tile set. As you race around the level, your car, I mean chest, changes to a different sprite with each lap. As Samuel Bromley's comment says, this game has no goddamn right to be as enjoyable as it is. <laughs> There's all the little sprites that I made. Evolution Racer. Press enter. <laughs> I've changed into a yellow one. They're flapping their lids. Um, oh my goodness, there's loads. How do I get a faster one? I pick up these coins. I've changed into another chest. Oh my word, this is hilarious. I've turned into a different kind of chest. Now I'm another one. What position am I in? There's a mini map. Oh, now I'm a different one. I'm going faster with this one. Oh, there I am on that one. I'm the out of control frantic one. Thanks for playing. Final time 129. Um, okay. So I guess you've got to go around a certain amount of times as fast as you can. I feel like that's a good time. Let me know in the uh, comments. Was 129 seconds a good time? I don't know. But uh, that was hilarious. It didn't take itself too seriously and there were chests everywhere. And speaking of Samuel Bromley, his entry, The Dawn of Man, ranked 9th. The Dawn of Man does a fantastic job of not taking itself too seriously. Which is where the brilliance lies. The style, the music, the gameplay fit perfectly together in this endless runner, where your high score is measured in years. As you run, your character evolves from ape to early man, providing you don't fall and die in the flames first. I've just got to run, so the screen can't catch up with me. Oh look, I'm changing. I'm changing into a person. The music is absolutely hilarious. It fits. It fits so well. I'm walking like a human, like a person. Oh dear, I jumped too early. I've, oh no, I survived. How did I survive that? This man will not be killed. Like how many years? High score 3,000 years. Oh, I've smashed that, haven't I? I've got a spear. It's the ice age. Bird game by Cyan Kiwi comes in at a well-deserved eighth place. This game is basically a flying simulator, but with a bird. Don't let the simplicity fool you though, because the gameplay and feeling of gliding through the air makes you feel at one with nature. As you soar through the level, eating food, your bird evolves into different species, which in turn enables you to eat a wider range of food in the level. Well, I can get these ones down here, look. These lower ones. Oh, I missed it, get these ones. Got it! Now what am I? A red one. Got it. Got it. And now I'm a different one. Can eat olives, bananas, and cherries. How many olives I've got? And I've got a dash. Oh, nice. In seventh place is a game called Seed by Basic Terror. This game has bucket loads of stuff that make a great side scrolling shooter. The polish in this game is off the charts, and the pixel art animation is superb. The goal is to collect green shards, which cause your ship to grow larger and larger. Once you have enough shards, the game seamlessly transcends into a cutscene which brings you to the end of the level. I really, really want to see what I turn into if I collect these shards. The animations are very nice when you shoot and when the uh, bullets collide with the rocks. It's very good. It's very satisfying. Uh, I just can't risk going to get that thing over there. I want it, but it's a death wish if I try and get right to the front of the screen there. I kind of feel like it's the coast is quite clear now. I could go and get it. Yeesh. Uh, no, don't risk it. You've come so far. It would be a shame to die now. Get this one. I need that shard. 16. I need four to go. A Brief History of Flower Ball is an absolute hidden gem of a game. I had so much fun playing it. It made me laugh out loud on more than one occasion, especially the game during the potato famine. The game is simple, but it just goes to show you don't need an all singing, all dancing game to rank highly in a game jam. Flyable Ball takes you on a wonderfully hilarious journey through time as you learn all about the history of this popular ball game. Oh, what a shot that was. Did you see that? 1839, the switcheroo of 39. The switcheroo? Oh, I get ya. Nice. Nice touch. 1845, Irish Potato Famine Finals. <laughs> He's skinny. <laughs> He's got no potatoes. He needs to eat more. Oh, and he's slow. 
<laughs> He's groaning. 1918, the first Farber ball captured on film. Oh, what a lovely little texture. World's first virtual flower ball. <laughs> They've gone like Pong graphics. The top five. The appraisal by Moo Lord King comes in at number five. As an imprisoned mutant, you undergo a series of tests to appease a commanding voice in the sky, in a transcendent realm. The narration in this game is fantastic. It really adds to the immersive experience. The game also has a brilliant sense of humour, often poking fun at the player if they struggle to grasp the concept of the game. The huge structure that you see, you want to reach the top of it. Um, I feel like I need the yellow ones, because they're going to give me hints. Uh, what was... red was strength, right? Okay, you really are that dumb. <laughs> Eat the fruit in front of you, and then pick up that box. Then you need to move it to the hole in the wall that you might be able to see. Then figure it out by yourself, seriously. Chesty Cuffs Evolution by Agent Joe is a rhythm game and a card game rolled into one. You have to place cards to deal damage to your opponent while simultaneously clicking buttons at just the right time. Think it sounds easy? It's not. But graphically, it's amazing. The idea is to perform well enough at the rhythm game to evolve and progress. Hey, Charlie Slimesicle. So, we've been collecting quite a lot of seeds and general items since the lava's soon about to catch up, right? I was thinking, I wanna do something with these items. Now then, let's fight. Oh, that's cool. That's very nice. Okay, so that would put it there. Well, let's go here. Let's heal me by two. Oh, I like that's very satisfying. So I bumped up my evolution and now I can pick my card. But I feel like clicking these is the most important thing. Yeah. The Xanderwood Strain by Fuzzle CC comes in at number three, and this one was special. The art, the music, the gameplay, and the use of the theme were all on point 100%. You must travel through vaults to collect vials of Xanderwood Strain to have any hope of ending a world destroying pandemic. All right, let's get on with it. Hope this thing still works. <laughs> I love the little artwork and animations, it's great. Okay, vault one. Where am I? Okay, here I am. Oh, that's... that's lovely. It's so well done, it's so smooth. Okay. Oh, I need that vial. I need that green thing. Oh, I killed myself. There's the portal. I just... I'm gonna die before I get there. There's so many things! Get in! Yes! Run away, run away. Where's the door? Oh dear lord. Yes. Oh, there it is. Get in. Oh, that was so close. Evo Blocks by Sidfish is at first a simple breakout clone, but don't be fooled. This game evolves as you play by adding levels of polish with each power up, eventually evolving to the point where the player input isn't even required at all. An absolute home run of an interpretation of the theme and well deserved second place. Nice. Nice and simple so far. Don't have to move. It's like the blocks are evolving. And now they're shooting back at me. I want the orange jam. I've got to hit the ball in. Yes. Juice! Oh, there's juice! I'm interested to see how much I can evolve this game. Oh, more blocks are coming in from the top. Oh, look at that. That was a perfect shot. Yes. I'm almost at the maximum level of juice. It's effectively the same game as it was at the beginning, but it just plays and feels so much better. Autopilot. All good, autopilot enabled, you can relax. <laughs> and the winner of the public vote is... Proto Hell by Clone13 is a top-down bullet hell shooter where you control a cell trying to survive. You are a single cell, lipid-based protocell trying to destroy bacteria so you can eat their remains. Sorry if anyone's eating right now. As you progress through the level, eating remains, you can spend your genetic material to gain abilities or evolve. You must unlock all abilities and fully evolve 
in order to meet a second cell and continue the evolution journey. Oh, get, get back here. That one's got fins. Okay, what have I unlocked now? Oh, uh, I want to check out the mall. Oh, jeez, they're shooting. Now these ones are shooting at me. Oh, Christ. Yeah, okay. We're, we're taking things up a notch. Oh, double bouncy. This is what I need. Then something's going to hit someone. Yeah, the more bullets that are on screen that are mine, the better. I love how squishy the enemies look. Okay, I've killed a bunch. Now, I still haven't unlocked any. Oh, I've unlocked. Ah, dodge. I can add to dodge. Nine bits. Uh, we can put HP up. Good. They're all on two now. That's on two. Okay, I've got five bits. Okay, so I need to eat more of these little things. But there's so many subtle little niceties in this game. Like Even when the bullets shoot, they, they gently drift away from each other when you fire. And that is cool. That's a nice little touch. Kill that one. Oh, there's a few there. Don't you get away from me. Well, I want damage. I can't afford damage. I've got no bits left. I've got no bits left. I've got triples that bounce. That is beautiful. Let's go. Let's roll to the end of the level. It'd be nice if I had a little mini map. You can see where I'm going. And let's come around and collect these guys. Thank you. Yummy, yummy, yummy. Beat them all up. Oh, there's another one. Peace. Peace at last. Just waiting for the last guy. There we go. Upgrade. Done. What's this thing? I found somebody. You have found a mate. And the next generation will be multi-cell organisms. Thanks for playing. The Judge's Picks. I mentioned at the start of the video that I'll be featuring a guest judge in all future Zander Jams. This time, it's Wadeep, a fellow YouTube dev and constant source of great feedback. Wadeep will be picking his favorite game of the jam, and their entry will earn a place on the Xander Jam leaderboard for all eternity. And in my personal top three, first place goes the Xanderwood Strain by Fuzo CC. I gotta say, the art was great, the sound was great, the gameplay was great, although very challenging, but what I liked the most was the tie to the evolution theme. Having swarms of drones spawn in using a cellular automata and then have them move together using a cluster detection algorithm was very interesting and gave it a back spin that I did not even think about. So yeah, it was very original and very well executed. Congratulations, I loved it. And now for my favorite game of Xander Jam 3, Spring Jam, Evo Blocks by Sidfish. I absolutely love this entry. The amount of effort put into this is clearly obvious. The take on the theme is fantastic and the levels of polish that get added as you play is incredible. For me, this is a game that literally evolves as you play it, to the point where the player is not even needed. Great work and thanks to everyone who submitted a game to the jam. Xander Jam 4 Summer Jam is now live on Edge. Link in the description. So get over and sign up. I can't wait to see what you guys make next time. Until then, take care my friends and have a good one.